Good morning, Collective. It is Wednesday morning, August the 31st. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you click on the bell, it will notify you when I upload new videos. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like my readings. Uh, share my uh, videos with your friends. Comment down below to let me know what it is that you like, what resonates with you, or to make suggestions for other contents you'd like to see. All these actions are free for you, but they will help my channel to grow. So, let us get started with our reading. Okay, in the position of the body, we have the Seven of Cups, which is about confusion and choices, dreams, wishful thinking, Evaluating your life in order to determine your next step. You dared dream, and now you have quite the collection. But dreams don't do a lot of good sitting in the clouds. They're mere fantasies. To manifest your desire, you have to take the cup and drink. Too many choices can be as bad as none. Choose the one from your heart. In the position of the heart, we have the sun. It's about happiness, joy, fun, celebration, success, and good fortune. You know who you are, what you want, and where you want to go. It all feels joyous. You can trust yourself. Function without doubt. Your intentions are pure and follow them wherever they lead. Participate in summer activities, like a beach party. In the position of the mind, we have the Three of Cups. Again, celebration. Friends hanging out, shopping, at the movies, or a restaurant, and express your freedom. Friends bring clarity. Talk things out and discuss it with them. Things come together. Be grateful for the people in your life. At the messages from spirit, we have the eight of wands. And the eights bring speed and power. There won't be much time to think and plan, so you need to channel this power. Nothing will be a surprise. You've taken steps to direct events towards a specific outcome. This card also represents me... Um, also represents messages and travel. Whatever you feel you need to do, now is the time. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. And it's time to rest and recharge. Take a break. Silence your mind. Think of all that you're truly grateful for. Your higher self needs to meditate and recuperate. Go on a vacation. Take some me time. The overall energy was the world. This is about wholeness and completion. This is attainment of wisdom and success. Beginnings and endings. The completion of one cycle and transition to another. Seek a partner who makes you feel complete and whole, but not obsessive and addictive. Be happy, content, and complete within yourself and in your own world. And so what I'm seeing is that we had two or three cards telling us that it was time to celebrate, to enjoy the fruits of our labor. And it, it talked about us completing um, the projects and the cycles that we've been working towards and to um, take some me time, um, recharge, hang out with your friends, um, Things on your mind uh, that you need a little clarity on, discuss them with your friends and see what they happen to think about it. But um, enjoy yourself. Celebrate. 